Rayon left poem and Cain left poem, guys. That's how it is. Me, Sean. I'm joined. Uh, welcome back to another Geek Tavern. It's me, Sean. I'm joined by Mike. Hello. And Aaron. And that was our intro in Navi. Because we are your cred. talking about <laughs> James Cameron's Avatar this time. <laughs> and that's the language that they speak. And they made up. A, like, it's a legitimate language that you could probably learn. Like, so is like... Rhodian, Putty, mm. like, come on. I don't game think make, that anybody could actually... Language. I don't think anybody could actually speak Huttese. I don't know, I think you can. I'm sure it's, there's some nerd It's based on, like a, like, a Hindi dialect. Mm. Well, so. this is clearly based on, like, a Navajo dialect, because, uh... Well, I'll just get into the synopsis, I guess. It's a... Story that takes place in the future, in the year 2154, uh, Earth has discovered the planet of Pandora, and they go there on a mining expedition to get unobtainium, which is a rare mineral that they are Cold mining. That they painted silver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, the uh, largest deposit of unobtainium on Pandora is underneath the sacred tree of the Navi people, and... Uh, Jake Sully is tasked with going and uh, befriending the Navi people and basically betraying them. <laughs> to get them to move. Yeah, to get them to move uh, or threaten them with violence so that they could um, mine the unobtainium. And then uh, he falls in love with the chieftain's daughter and that's it's Dances with Wolves. <laughs> yeah. It's Pocahontas. Yeah. 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 So... Or some people have referred to it as Fern Gully in space yeah, as well. True. Uh it's it's a fairly simple story, but what its main reliance of the film and James Cameron's, you know, efforts was the absolute like maddeningly impressive visual effects of the time. Right. It came out thirteen years ago now. Didn't they start like pre production? on this movie in 1997 or something like I don't know that. if it was that long. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm, I'm sure that this I is... I think I remember hearing the, yeah. like, the, like he, the start he of this. He was writing this, this like, in 1997 and waiting for the technology to catch up. Well, it's not just that, like, like sure, the story is simple or whatever, but, like, all of these creatures, like, they're, like, um... James Cameron created, like, an entire ecosystem of Pandora. So, like... Well, let's get one thing straight. Neville Page well, created yes. an ecosystem. Yes. Not yes. James Cameron. Well, anyway, it's it's a very in-depth world that they, like, created. Yeah. And uh, James Cameron and uh, Neville Page had the vision of. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of bizarre looking back on it now because, as everybody knows, there's five sequels in development or coming out soon... And it almost feels like, what's the point now? Because it's been fifteen years since this movie came out. Yeah. Who the hell cares yeah. about it's... seeing a, yeah, seeing another do. one? Like, I'm sure that there is like a group that is like excited about this new one coming My... out. But I'm like, I don't like. Will I see it? Yeah, absolutely. But right. I don't care. What do yeah. I care? It's been this, fifteen years. This movie. Going into this, I mean. I've actually had been talking for a couple months about rewatching it because my sister loves this movie. Like this is one of her favorite movies. And I just remember like I watched it with her back in the day and I'm I didn't love it. Like I thought it was an okay movie. I thought it was long as shit. <laughs> yeah. But come to find out, as we were discussing before recording like it's actually not that that long. No. Yeah, I feel like um, it's like two and a half. Like it's like two hours and forty some minutes long. Yeah, which, with, with credits. Yeah, but like um, to that point, I feel like <laughs> now because of films like like Endgame, right? right. Endgame Endgame War, line, yeah. It's like oh, I thought that this movie was much longer, and then again, I was a stupid teenager the first time I saw it, so right. my attention span was probably much shorter. So I was like. Why is this movie so fucking long? <laughs> yeah. Now that I think about it, that's probably why I like didn't vibe with it back then. Is because I watched it. It was like I I can remember sitting in the theater like we were like in ninth grade, and I was like looking at my watch like <laughs> Jesus Christ, and I'm like watching it, and I'm like at that point when I would see trailers for movies, I go see the movie, 
and I'd like see bits that were in the trailer. I'm like, oh, okay, like we're getting close to the end. It must be. And I remember like watching the movie, and I'm like, I haven't seen this part of the that was in the trailer yet. Are you kidding me? Like, how much fucking longer is this gonna go on for? <laughs> like, and then the unobtainium thing, and it basically just being Pocahontas in space. I was like turned off by it when I was that age. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. I something definitely, like you said, didn't click with me either. Uh, I gotta say, I, I'll say it right now, like, I, I think I enjoyed it way more now. No, I like this movie much better. I do for sure. It's <laughs> much better. I, I even had like an appreciation for it. Like, even, like I know that there's like this whole like, it, it's almost like a whiplash effect, like a rubber band effect, because it at the time it came out, it was like. It like was the top highest grossing movie ever, and then people were like, "I feel like whenever something like that happens, like something gets so big, there's like people that need to like take it down a peg, right? So that there's like this group, and it might not even be a lot of people, even though I think it might be like the majority of like it's a fit, probably fifty fifty if anything else. But they're like, this sucks, and this is why it sucks, yeah, because the story's bland. But and it's like I I kind of like understood that camp for a while. And going back and rewatching it, I think the, the benefit of watching lo longer form movies, I was I was able to appreciate it more. Yeah. And we had mentioned it before recording as well. Even though, like we said, this movie came out thirteen years ago, something like that, fifteen years ago. Years ago. Yeah. It was fourteen. And uh, the special <laughs> effects, while they're not like anywhere like close to like perfect, like how they are now, they're still incredibly impressive. No, they are. Uh, that came from, I mean, I'm sure you guys talked about it too in your watch, but, uh, what I was saying, like, there's just things that do stand out. I'm like, oh, I can see that that's not yeah up to par with today. Uh, I would be very interested with the second one coming out December, right? Yeah, December. Um, I would like to see like a, a touched up version. Yeah. Like a, like a remaster or something. Yeah. Like. A 4K. I, not so much even just 4K. Like, I'm sure they can go in and just redo it. Oh, so, uh, skipping to the second movie, we'll talk about that briefly. Uh, there's something the funny. One? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's, there's something <laughs> funny. So, the trailer that they made is, like, a 4K resolution trailer. Uh -huh. And then I uh, they uploaded it to YouTube <laughs> With a max of, like, 720p. <laughs> like, whoever uploaded it to YouTube didn't upload it in 4K. So it just, like, looks like absolute dog shit. <laughs> like the trailer on YouTube. Like, so, still? Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, they might have made it... It might have been, like, uh, 1080, but it's not 4K. Like, yeah. like it is. Oh, my God. Um, and even... Like, I've seen the trailer for the new movie in theaters, and maybe it's just because, like, our theater doesn't have, like, that resolution or right. whatever, but I feel like if you want to get the experience that James Cameron wants you to have, you have to go to, like, a IMAX theater. Is this one going to be in 3D? Because I'm pretty sure that 3D movies yeah. have kind of gone by the wayside at this point. I was going to say, well, I couldn't tell you the last one I've was able to even see a 3D. There was a resurgence and then it died again. Yeah. yeah. I think the last 3D the last movie, movie I years, saw but... yeah, was like maybe The Hobbit. Like the last Hobbit movie was probably the last 3D movie I saw. I think I saw The Last Jedi in 3D. Oh, I didn't even know it was in 3D. Yeah. I think that might have been the last one I, I saw in 3D. Yeah. Uh, There's a couple cool moments, yeah. actually. Like some lead chips Force, flying. Force Awakens was 3D. Not... At our theater, no. but it was yeah. 3D. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, because cause Avatar is really the movie that, like, pioneered oh, the yeah, whole that was, thing. Yeah. Like, that's, like, that's why it made game. so much money, is because, yeah. like, people would go to the and movie. I do kick myself for not seeing yeah. it. And, like, I didn't see it in theaters. I didn't see it until it came to home video. I did yeah. see it in theaters, but uh, I didn't see it in 3D. But people would go because it's, like, an immersion into Pandora. Because right. The 3D technology was a little different than when it was still like popping out instead of like, like how the 3DS is where it like ah, it yeah. like makes it go back. Right. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, and I think that's why it made so much money is because Definitely. not only because the ticket prices are higher with 3D, but uh, 
yeah, people would just go back and see it. Mm-hmm. I mean, people love the world so much that Disney made a fucking theme park in right. uh, Animal Kingdom. In Animal Kingdom, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, Aaron and I can speak to it because we were there last year. It was neat. That's where I got this shirt. But um, <laughs> I rode Nikron. <laughs> it's actually probably one of my favorite rides yeah, at the park. It was a cool ride. But um, yeah, I mean, it was neat. But like, also. People weren't like, oh my god, it's Pandora. You know what I mean? Right. right. People like, were walking around, they're like, give me some of that blue bubble shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, nine dollars, sir. Like, like people aren't weren't reacting to Pandora the same way that they would react to like Galaxy's Edge or yeah. something. Yeah. Like, like the, the Star Millennium Wars. Falcon. Yeah, yeah. yeah like... You don't come around the corner and see the Millennium Falcon. You're not like, oh, hey, hey guys, look, it's Millennium Falcon. Yeah. You, you walk around the corner and you see the floating cliffs of. Dover. Dover, whatever the fuck they're called. <laughs> and people are like, oh, that's neat. Anyway, no, they cool. walk cool. It's not like an no, awestruck no. thing. Yeah, they're like, so is Asia this way? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how do I get to go see the tigers? You know what would be impressive is if DC had genetically engineered like the Ikron or like. <laughs> they just have like, a Thanator running around. Yeah. Like, Tackling part yes. <laughs> or they they have your favorite little guy. Yeah, the, the <laughs> dumb looking uh, horse thing. <laughs> Dumbass horse. <laughs> Actually, they could probably do the Ikron thing, like they're doing with Galaxy's Edge, where they're doing the drones that are the Tie Fighters and yeah. the X-wings. I'm surprised mm-hmm. to do there like wasn't a, anything. Yeah, like that, to do like honestly. a light show like that, and they could do, uh, like with the Ikron like yeah. flying around or something. Hmm. Now the question has to be asked: Do you think that they're going to update the park? With every new Avatar movie that comes out, provided they're successful in any marginal way, yeah. but like the whole the second one that's I don't coming know out, if Avatar flops, I, I, I'm not, I'm very it interested. It won't happen, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think it'll flop it, 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 in the it, sense it's of a not, flop. It, it's not gonna flop. It well, might, it won't flop. Yeah, it, it, it might not do nearly what it what I ex- the first one did. I, I but you're that. still gonna yeah. get people. It's like it's gonna be like Top Gun. Maybe. It's a known thing. It's a household name. People are gonna be like, "Yeah, I'll go see it." Could you imagine though if the the second Avatar movie came out like forty years after the first one, like Top Gun did, still makes a billion dollars? But um, yeah, the, the that the second one's gonna be like entirely underwater, I think, or like about the water. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe like James Cameron in the third one, like however he's gonna do it. Like, whatever his gimmick is, that he's gonna, like, get people into theaters. Like, the first one. The trailer will be, like, the first one uh, was the pinnacle of special effects. The second one had a better story than the first one. <laughs> and then they'll be like, and the third one, we pump the gases from Pandora into the theater. <laughs> See if you can get your mask on quick enough to, like, experience it fully. <laughs> like... The Avatar 4D experience. Yeah. <laughs> You like turn and the old guy next to you is like. <laughs> with I a, remember with a, when the first one came out with an arrow the size of a broom <laughs> stick, sticking out of his body. Just yeah, there's just some guy like it's like some like experimental cinema where there's like Stephen Lang's just running around the theater bleeding out like, with <laughs> arrows, just screaming through the entire performance. <laughs> and then the fourth one, they actually put you in an avatar. <laughs> You are the avatar. <laughs> um, but like, yeah, that would be some like experimental shit. It's just like over, like, like, uh, bird's eye shots of like Pandora while Stephen Lang's just running around <laughs> screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh... David Lynch is standing there. Just like... <laughs> but yeah, getting back to uh, the actual story. I don't know, like like we say, there's not really much to talk about in the story no. because it's basically just Jake like coming to terms with the fact that the Navi are actually like I don't want to say people too, but you know, they're living creatures. So they're not just like, savages like yeah, they yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. like they the... yeah, they're 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 an aboriginal like species on this foreign planet. So it's uh, essentially Native Americans and yeah. the Belgrams. Right? Yeah, exactly. And so it's like him grappling with the fact that he has to like choose between the navi and the humans and then there's like at the very end of the movie i noticed this whenever we stopped and watched the fi- uh, finale with you mm-hmm. uh 
right before recording, Mike, is that they kind of shoehorned in this like, um, uh, like climate change bit whenever like uh, Jake is trying to talk to uh, e uh, fucking what's the tree's name? Awa. Awa. Yeah. Whenever Jake's talking Awa. to Awa and is like trying to like persuade it to send the uh, planet's animals to attack to. Right. He's like, uh, if you look at our home planet, it's like there's no green on it. They like ate it all up. Yeah. And that's what they're gonna do with this we planet did, too. We destroyed it. Or yeah. Whatever. And it's like, okay, yeah. There's there's no green on it. It's like some weird shoehorned in climate change <clears throat> narrative. There. I feel like James Cameron was like, oh fuck, we gotta do something else. Just like. <laughs> Well, we like, gotta go uh, green. We'll get those guys. <laughs> but like, like, okay, like, I feel like James Cameron was trying to, he was trying to do something and ended up being way too on the nose with it. Like, I feel like George Lucas, when he did Star Wars, was like, ah, I'll take this Empire Nazi regime type of thing, hunting people, like, and I'll use the backdrop of space and do, like, an homage to sci-fi. Uh, let's make the Jedi Samurais. Like, there's, there's nods. Mm. And there's an overall arcing story. Yes, is the story simplistic, save damsel in distress from evil fortress, evil people. Yes. But it's done it's done in a way that was never told before. Right. This is just us. Uh, uh, this is the colonial Americans bulldozing the Midwest and the Native Americans. It's there's no like subtleness to it at all. It's just but it's in space. Yeah, yeah. He's like, it's in space, <laughs> but it's just exactly the same thing. And if you don't get it, then you're probably just stupid. <laughs> I uh, I was researching this a little bit earlier, but apparently, whenever the movie came out, there was this thing called like Avatar Blues, where people would get depression, and like, I don't. There's no. There's been no verified accounts of this, but allegedly people would kill themselves oh because they couldn't be on Pandora, like with like the Navi people, because like Earth. Is oh, I a, remember that. Yeah, Earth is like so shitty oh, that they're I, like, I want to be on another planet like Pandora. Yes, I'd love to be on that planet with this fucking thing, this fucking. Th yeah, I'd love to just be in there yeah. for my life every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I mean, it even, like, Stephen Lang talks about it, where he's, like, a hardcore corporal yeah. colonel in the military, and he's like, oh, this is just going to be another tr jump in the bush for me. And the first day out, he gets this massive three, like, fingered scar the entire way across the right side of his face. Did he ever say what what uh, animal did that? No. It was probably this. I was going to say, it's probably the, the black. Yeah. The, like, the black panther-looking thing. Yeah. Um... But yeah, that so like that was odd to think about. I doubt anything like, like that. Like, how into this movie do you have to get to get to that mindset? Well, if it's like, you think about it, fourteen years ago in the three D immersive experience. <laughs> yeah, but how far gone do you have to be to start with to walk into this movie theater, see that, and go, "I want to be that," and then you just walk out and you're like, "I just want to die." <laughs> I mean, I I get I've never feelings walked, from movies, yeah, but I've never but walked like, out of a movie and gone, I, I could just kill myself now because I'm not living in that world. Yeah, like Christ yeah. for the longest time. Like when I was a kid, I was like, I want to live in the Star Wars world, and then I go back and watch it, and I'm like, I don't fucking live there. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck would I want to live there for? It's a galactic empire hunting Jedi. Because like you always want to be a Jedi when you're a kid, and then you go back and watch it now, and you're like, fuck that. Well, be hunted and killed, even if. Like, you probably wouldn't be a Jedi if you lived in that. You'd have, yeah. to, you'd have to fucking moisture farm in the <laughs> middle of a desert. Yeah. So, and like... That, that shit would just suck. Yeah, because, like, when you think about it nowadays, you're like, I wouldn't be a fucking Jedi. And it's like, so why the fuck would I want to live there in the first place? <laughs> what am I going to be doing? Panhandling on the underground of Coruscant? Yeah, exactly. You'd be one of those meat cutters on Obi-Wan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's, like, so much shitty jobs. You're in the... basically a slave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's... Pro Probably the if you were to like live in that universe, nine times out of ten you're gonna be a slave. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah. Oh, so I want to ask you, Mike, if okay. you. So Aaron and I had this conflation, uh, of the movie. We remember whenever uh, uh, Jake and uh, I forget her fucking name. 
Natiri. Natiri. Mm. Uh, whenever they have sex for the first time. Yeah. Uh, do you remember them having sex with their hair? I do. Don't they put them together? No. No. What happened? No. It's like a Mandela effect. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Like everybody remembers that, but it's not in the movie. Yeah, Holy I played. I, I paid special attention to it this time watching through, and it, and they don't do that. But like I remember I, that shit. Yeah, because he said it to me. He's like, he's like, you know, they, he's like, you remember that they have sex with their hair? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, no, you don't. You know what happened? And I was like, what? I don't know. Is that, that a known Mel- Mandela effect? I don't know it if it's like some MTV like skit or something where they like did that, but it doesn't <laughs> happen in the movie. But like a lot of people, Maybe myself uh, included, remember that as being a part of the movie. So yeah. I don't know. I because I mean it would make sense, right? Because yeah. that's how they connect with the horses and the econ. Yeah. So which I just thought now they call them horses. Do they? Yeah, yeah, he does. He calls them like the horse people or the, yeah. yeah. They're called horses, but the flying things are called like Tyrannodons are called Ekron. They have their own name. It's so weird. Yeah. Um, um well, while you're looking that, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll say um, my Google's probably like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah. So they have sex with their hair and I put Avatar hair sex. That's what I put. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. might you might come across a couple of uh, un unmentionable things. I'm I'm sure I'm going to. Was that a knock at the door? <laughs> yeah, behind you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but I will say I. I remember a lot more dialogue and, like, things in the movie than, like, while watching it, like, the lines would just, like, pop into my head be like, oh, I remember this. And I only think I saw the movie, like, once or twice. I only ever watched it once the entire way through. I think I my dad got surround sound for the basement when this, yeah, this was probably, like, when I was, like, in ninth or 10th grade. And I got the DVD, and I was like, Dad, I was like, let's try out the surround sound with this movie. And, like, we got through, like, 30, 40 minutes of it. My dad's like, all right, we're pausing it. Like, we never finished it. All right. We're, this, this is a three-hour-long movie. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to watch this. <laughs> I think it's from the movie. And they have their hair in, the, in their hands. Huh. Maybe it was just cut out of the Disney Plus thing. You know what? It might have been. But I don't know. Because I... Because I've seen people online that say that they get, like, they, they rent it, like, officially. Or they go back to the DVD and it's not there. So, mm. I don't know if that was, like, a really well done, like, uh, like joke clip or, like, what. But, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure where to, I'm going to go down this rabbit hole later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm certainly going to figure it out. Yeah, it's a very strange uh, Mandela effect thing. That so many of us like that's going to be the reason I go down the rabbit hole because yeah. like, is it now a Mandela effect? Yeah. Damn it! They just bashed a bunch of fucking neutrons or some shit. Oh hydro. right, yeah. <laughs> the, the hydron <laughs> collider, the hadron collider. <laughs> like I, I follow all that shit. So like, they literally just reported. They're like, hey, they expect more because. We've, o- we've opened. We just up. fucked up the timeline. Yeah, we've opened up more uh, universes. Where do you guys sit? Not that this is a Mandela Effect podcast, but where do you sit on the Luke I am your father? Do you remember that, or do you know no, that I am your father? No, I know what it is, yeah. but I mean, I remember that as a kid. But okay, but also, like, I don't, I don't remember. I remember people saying it. I don't remember specifically watching the scene and hearing it. Yeah. For for some reason, my mind always goes to him saying, "No, Luke, I am your father." But like, I know that's not there. Right. Yeah. Okay. I just watch it. I mean, like, if, if if my if my VHS is from nineteen ninety seven actually changed, I'm gonna be fucked up. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
We fucked off if that if I go back and watch it and it says Yeah, George Lucas broke into your house and changed your DVD or your VHS specifically. <laughs> Along with destroying the hol- the holiday special that I had taped off of CBS. Yeah. He's like, there is no trace of this. See, I don't remember that. I just wake yeah. up like on Christmas Eve and I just see this bearded man, this bearded pudgy man and going through my VHS. <laughs> and I'm like Santa turns around and he's like you have a copy of the holiday special? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's in that sleeve. And he's like, uh, <laughs> just climbs out the window. <laughs> Not anymore, kid. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy Life's Day. Yeah, happy Life's Day. <laughs> Well, sorry for that tangent. It's, anyway, it's all right. <laughs> I don't, there's not much to the story to talk about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's your typical love story. I don't think it's particularly bad. It's your typical rom com <laughs> in space. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I, I mean, like I said, I definitely enjoyed it more. Yeah. So like, I, I thought that I was gonna not enjoy it, but I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Like so. pe- people that break it down and say that it's a lazy. Well, it's only this love story. Well, did that did that, those love stories have a person taking their consciousness and putting it like there there is elements of new things in it. Yeah. It's like Star Wars. <laughs> exactly. It's the same story. Yeah, it's a hero's yeah. journey. It's a hero's journey, but it's the backdrop and everything involved in it is it's, so otherworldly that it makes you forget about the it, it, it makes you forget about the blandness of the story, yeah. which I think is what James was trying to do. Was try to catch that lightning in a bottle yeah. again, and yeah, it, he did. But it also kind of backfired because I don't think that while it's immersive and everything, and mm-hmm. I appreciate the movie more upon rewatching it. While it's immersive, I don't think it's as immersive as Star Wars was to make you forget oh, yeah. about the mm-hmm. st- the story. No, I I, I agree with that. I, I just think that the people that are like that say that as like a yeah where they just completely the destroy it and yeah. cut out its credibility right. simply because of that like I I think they're nitpicking right on that because there there are elements of it just because it was the highest grossing movie yeah the time. Um, I also one thing I love is the fact that Jake his whole that he's paralyzed mm. like I love that element of holy shit I get to have legs yeah like i i do like that yeah that's like that story that's like the whole like thing so so, uh the movie starts with like jake giving like a really bad voiceover yeah it's actually him like doing like a daily log or whatever Mm -hmm. but it's like really like not like it's jarring almost because it's like this is like this is the take you went with and then it like cuts to him actually giving the log or whatever and you're like oh okay that's why Sounds like shit. But, I um, thought that was actually kind of funny. Yeah. And then, like, his brother's funeral shit is also <laughs> yeah. happening at the same time. And the two dudes in, like, Nazi-esque leather trench coats show up. And they're like, hey, uh, you want to join a team that your brother was on? Which, I brought this up to you, and, Mike, I want your opinion on it. Because I said, it's kind of dumb. I get it that it was his twin, and mm. they don't want to throw away An a genetically engineered being to for them to meld with. But I was like... His brother was, like, a science nerd. He was, like, research. I'm like, you're literally just sending a fucking Marine in here to do this shit. Yeah, I mean, and they talk about that, too. Um, and and that's uh, Sigourney Weaver's uh, whole yeah. thing is, like, I don't want a Marine on my team. Yeah. Like, she already has enough jarheads. What did you want my opinion on, though? Uh, like, if it was, yeah, it was, what, like... What, if it made sense for yeah. them to recruit him rather than just like scrap his avatar. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think that was their, their situation. Yeah. But I mean, you're taking a huge gamble on bringing some, yeah, some jarhead in. I mean, there's enough surveillance on it that I think it was a safe enough. Idea. Well, and, and that's what I mean. Like, did you even need him? Couldn't you have just put like two more security detail on yeah. that team? I'm... And just toss the avatar body. Well, when when you're trying to gain their trust, you you probably don't want actual scientists. Marines. Yeah. Well, like to be security out on the field. Yeah, like human marines. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I, I brought it up. I was like, why is this the first time that a survivalist has been like, 
an avatar and made an avatar yeah. for and then like gone out into pandora wilds with the scientist because you you would think that that that's what you'd want would be a survivalist yeah like a survivalist just because i mean albeit you'd probably want a survivalist that knows shit about pandora right but like yeah. clearly jake didn't yeah. but even then it's like if you're just going to send a bunch of scientists out in the middle of the wilderness of Pandora, like, they could die, like, super easy. Right. You'd think they'd want, like, a survival list to be out there with them and being like, okay, this is, like, you know, I'll keep you guys safe, but you guys do your thing. I, what was Sigourney Weaver's character's name? Grace. 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 Like, obviously, you would have Grace out there. She's the head scientist. But honestly, if, if you have two other avatars, they should probably both be... Yeah, you know, oh somebody God. survivalist or whatever. I know where Sigourney Weaver's gonna be in the sequel. You gotta find she out. Is the tree. You're yeah. gonna find out that she was the one who actually like got all the animals to like like yeah. rush in at the end. I, I, yeah, yeah. Because she said, "I'm with her, Jake," and I thought like maybe that would be like she actually like does that. So okay, so I guess we'll go into that because i think that's an interesting topic like speculation on the second movie uh so do you think that she is with I awa can't... awa <laughs> the jawas the jawas <laughs> uh she's she's with awa and then later they do actually find a way to transfer her into the avatar because they probably still have or they find just a way a way to communicate with her Right. Yeah, I imagine that. They Do we see her like, avatar in like shots from the? Huh, I, I thought you did, but I could. I've only seen the trailer once. Okay. Though. And and there's only like one line of dialogue in the entire trailer. Right. So. Yeah, it's very uh, visual driven. Yeah. Um. And then the other top t talking point that we were talking about is that the, again, I don't know his name. Colonel. The Colonel Miles Porridge. <laughs> <laughs> all right just colonel uh <laughs> mild he uh you guys showed me a screenshot and he's in the same he's in the movie yeah as an avatar how or is it <laughs> his son uh ah. no. <laughs> it's, only, it's only 15 years i mean he could have a son but i mean he's older yeah it's so like it could be his son played by stephen lang <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> wait who are you I'm Giles Corridge. Giles. Miles' is twin brother. Oh, I'm God. Here to, I'm here oh, to God. <laughs> oh, no. We got matching tattoos. Yeah, I don't know. I have I have no idea what they're going to do. That'd with be very... Team. That's that's interesting. I. Why do you think it took 15 years to come I out? have no idea. Like, why... So, the, you think that the, the studio would be like, get that shit out now. Yeah. Like, yeah, but it's it's James Cameron. I was going to say, so, James Cameron has a lot of, like, authority. He James can be Cameron like, has two of the most highest... Two of the I highest mean, grossing movies in the top five. Two I mean, out of the five. He, he kind of yeah. does that, right? Because, like, Terminator, it was how many years? Yeah. Like... James no, granted, Cameron, they haven't been 14 years. Yeah, but... James Cameron is the Steve Jobs of movies. Hmm. Like, studios will just be like, do whatever you want, Mr. Cameron. <laughs> like, he could literally just be embezzling money. <laughs> and they're like, hey, is that movie coming out? And he's like, yeah, it'll be a couple of years. And they'll be like, take your time, take your time. He's supposed to be, I don't know this because I've never worked with him, but allegedly he's a hard person to work with because he wants things done his way. Hmm. I mean... Maybe that, maybe he's literally been doing it by himself, yeah. like animating well, no, he, yeah. for fifteen years. No, he 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 had to take a <laughs> two year break to go to the bottom of the ocean. Was he filming Abyss too? You don't remember that? No. James Cameron got in the submarine and went to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Was he filming Abyss too? No, he was just he just did it because he, he, do he likes being underwater because he's a freak. <laughs> He had to really immerse himself. <laughs> so did he actually go to the Titanic? I don't think he went to the Titanic. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I, I mean, he may have. Oh, no, I, will, I think he actually did whenever yeah. they uh, did Titanic. Because those were real shots, like, yeah. of the Titanic. He just loves water. I imagine if they make another Terminator movie, it'll all be underwater. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that one. He's going to make a Titanic sequel where it's just, like... <laughs> They're the, the ghosts of them are still living in the boat or whatever, and 
Yeah. Go, the ghosts go to the float of the Pandora. Yeah, Billy Zane will be there. <laughs> oh, boy, the was bad there. guy of Titanic. The bad guy of Titanic. <laughs> he was the iceberg. He was the iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it, it's so weird though, because like it was the most success. I mean, Titanic also was ultra successful. Yeah, so, like that, and cool. then like this. Being how like so Titanic think, is the other one that's in the top. Yes, yeah, and uh, and then this one being so successful, you'd think that the studio would be like James, come on, like make, yeah. make another fucking movie. I mean, you could be right. It could have been like twenty years in the making of him, like actually like planning things out and waiting for the technology. But like, oh yeah, if he's sure. waited fifteen years for the technology to catch up to what it is now, I think that he could have. Especially with the resources he would have had, he probably could have pumped this out like five years ago, seven years ago. James Cameron is just the George R. R. Martin of movies, <laughs> where he's like, I'm telling you guys, it's going to be huge. And then they're like, okay, we're still waiting. And he's like, it's coming. Just you wait. Yeah, but the thing is, so the new one's coming out this year, and then it's supposed to be like a new one every year. other year now. Every so like two every, years? yeah. Yeah. The next two are supposed to come out consecutive. Oh. Two and three are supposed to come out this year and next year. Yeah. Because huh. apparently he was filming both of them. Yeah. Back so, back. yeah, I think that's how, like, <laughs> go back to Future 2 and 3. Yeah. So, yeah. And Lord of the Rings. But, uh, right. yeah. I thought that he was filming all of them uh, at once, not just the next two. That would be fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, like, what, five sequels? He, he's, he's filming all of them at once. So, and... Yeah, um, even if they're, no, like... No, no. Uh, us knowing all about movies, like, he's filming all of them at once. So, like, they're filming part of two, and then the next day they're filming part of five. Yeah. And, like, it'll be, like, Sam Worthington's, like, on set, and he's like, okay, he's like, what scene are we doing? And he's like, oh, uh, you're uh, doing javelin throwing with your child. And it's like, oh, okay. And he's like, turns and, like, is waiting for, like, the kid to come up, and, like, this adult comes up, and he's like, the fuck is this? And he's like, <laughs> This is five. And he's like, five. We were shooting two yesterday. And he's like, I know, but we got to keep going. <laughs> Tomorrow we're doing three, if that helps. And he's like, what? <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, every, every single one of them, like Sam Worthington, Zoe Saldana, are just going to quit acting after like 2026 and just be like, I'm never doing it again. No. It'll be in their contract. They'll be like, no sequels ever to anything. So anybody that's in all of those movies, like, are they under contract to do all of them? Now? I don't know if they're under contract. No, probably not. Hmm. Unless that's why Sam Worthington hasn't done anything significant. No, I don't think that's edge. why. I was just about to say, this is the best thing that could have ever happened to Sam Worthington's career. Well, yeah, wasn't it? Terminator Salvation was the year before this. Or no, it was the same year. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Salvation was May of 20, 2009? Yeah, and this and then, was like September yeah. or like November. No, this was December. This was, was Christmas, yeah. Was it? Yeah. I couldn't remember. Hmm. Maybe that's why I made so much money, because Christmas movies make a lot of money, too. Well, but um, Star Wars. And then they, didn't they bring it back? In yeah, like, they brought it like back spring or something? Yeah. 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 So, um, I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but uh, Matt Damon was originally, like, picked by James to be uh jake sully okay and he even like and matt was like i don't really want to do it and james cameron was like listen i'll give you 10 percent of the earnings if you come and do it and he's like uh thanks but no and then sam worthington signed on and that movie made fucking two billion dollars <laughs> and he was like did did he give him 10 percent? i don't know or did or was that just Matt Damon's? That's daughter? probably just Matt Damon. He was like, "Hey, ten percent," and he's like, "He yeah. might have, yeah, he might have given uh, Sam Worthington like three <laughs> percent, which I mean, still enough to like live off of for the past yeah. thirteen years." But, but like, could you imagine like if Sam was like reading the article where Sam where James said that and he like calls him and he's like, "Hey, you motherfucker, <laughs> like, you offered him ten percent, I didn't get shit." <laughs> You gave me, you gave me two hundred dollars. <laughs> and James Cameron is Sam. Listen, this is the only thing of value in your entire career. Be thankful that I gave you the opportunity and hangs up the phone. <laughs> yeah, let me know how Terminator Salvation did. <laughs> hangs up the phone. Zoe Saldana though, she she can do anything. Yeah, she has had a great career since yeah. then.
I honestly didn't know that was her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she, she did, because she, uh, before this, Star Trek came out. Is that before, before this? this? Before it, it yeah. was in 2009, too. Yep. A lot of shit came out. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Same thing with, like, 2019. It must be the end of a decade type of deal. Yeah. Where, like, all of the good shit gets pushed. But yeah, you had her in Star Trek, Avatar, then Guardians a few years later. Well, the consecutive Star Trek sequel and then yeah. Guardians. But, I mean, like, she's made a hell of a career for herself. Yeah, as being the hmm. hot chick in space. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally no, her No, it is just a hot chick in space. That's it. It's her That's entire career. Movie. That's a movie. That hot chick in space. Yeah, starring Zoe Zaldana. That's right. <laughs> That's all it is. Give us that. <laughs> Come on, James. Make a good movie. Yeah, but I can't wait to see all of the people that have no reason to be back in the sequel back in the sequel <laughs> yeah i did i mean that's all gonna be very interesting james cameron james cameron will be sitting at the premiere and like norm will show up and he'll be like <laughs> you guys remember norm <laughs> is james cameron just uh jealous that of the mcu fake death universe <laughs> maybe I, I'm, I'm wondering if james cameron will just be like uh charlie uh charlie cox going into that premiere of <laughs> spider-man to see Dare or see Daredevil and not one person makes like a noise. So like James puts like all these dead characters in the movie and he's like waiting eagerly for people to like cheer and like nobody says anything and he's like, How do you people not remember Max? He was in Tenant for Christ's sake. He was in Inception. Yeah, people are gonna remember him from that more than fucking Avatar. Or if Trudy shows up and he's like, yeah, that family. I'm surprised that she hasn't been Michelle Rodriguez hasn't been confirmed to be in the sequels at this point. I mean, Everybody we else... literally didn't see her die. So. Yeah, we just watched her shit blow up. Yeah, I mean, she she could come back with like third degree burns <laughs> over the entire left side of her face. Yeah, there's a deleted scene where there's just like fire and smoke, and Dom just walks out holding her like no mask, no nothing. <laughs> you don't need a mask. He's got family. He's got family. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a Navi version. <laughs> What's Navi for family? <laughs> Shit, I didn't look it up. <laughs> give us that, James. Give us give us all this shit we're talking about in your new movie. But it's Fast Ten. They're coming. To... Oh Christ, it's gonna be a crossover. Yeah. That's what everyone's just gonna go in, and it's just gonna be like there'll be no shots of it at all in the trailers. Or what's gonna go in? It's just gonna be like, like cars like sliding around. It'll be the helicopters us. that they yeah. have. Paul Walker drives in. <laughs> as a Navi. <laughs> as a Navi. <laughs> it's a lot easier to deep fake that as a Navi. Yeah. Well, you, his could just, you could change his <laughs> brother's face. Exactly. It's easier to, to a Navi. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think we have anything else to say about one of the highest grossing want, movies of all time. I want that movie now. Me too. Be entertaining. I, I will I think that's that. <laughs> I will say, I'm at least curious to see uh, how this new movie is going to be, because, I don't know, I really don't give a fuck, but at the same time, I, I, I did enjoy this more than I thought I would, so right. maybe, I'll, maybe I'll like it more. It, it, it has heightened the, the anticipation a little yeah, bit. Just by, I'm not like, little bit. sitting here chopping at the bit, like, give me the movie. I don't and, think anybody And looking is. back on it, now, we watched that movie again, and I was like, hmm. I was like, we both agreed that it was pretty decent. And you and Josh made fun of me that I saw an Avatar shirt. <laughs> no, we made fun of you because you were so adamant about not liking it. If oh, you yeah. like the movie, I'm not going to make fun of you for buying a shirt. But No, no, no. Like I, And it, that's the strange part. Is like When I bought the shirt, I loved it because of the ride. The ride was awesome. Mm. And then just seeing like the cool creatures and everything, I was like, oh, that's neat. But then upon rewatching it, I was like, not terrible. Yeah. Pandora movie. as a world is very interesting. I think I'm more captivated by the the world of it than I think the that's story. I think that's what James Cameron was uh, attempting to do was you know have this huge world building thing, mm. and then he just picks the worst element name <laughs> humanly possible. Do you think that there's like a civilized portion of Pandora where there's just like cities and shit and like. I would Navi walking think around in suits happening. with briefcases. <laughs> You'd like... think that the humans would find them if that were the case. What if they're on another moon? Mm, maybe. I don't know. Well, there was like 
What if that's that like big those... thing and the big yeah, planet yeah. in the sky? Yeah, uh, like four moons. And, yeah, like four moons. I was gonna say it's like uh, Ewoks are on one of those. <laughs> I, I was gonna say it's like uh, Mustafar, how it has all those different moons around it, and like one of them's Nur, the water planet. Yeah. Like maybe there's other planets around. Oh, maybe there. that's what the. I, d- I doubt this is what it'll be, but they'll like travel to the other moons, planets to like for the idiot. other movies. Are they just gonna fly Akron like yeah, they're in the stratosphere? Yeah. They're they're they they share an atmosphere. <laughs> I mean, like even in the ride, like we see the ocean. Yeah, I mean, you like, see obvious, the, obviously yeah. that's not what the movie's gonna be about, but I mean, it could be though. Hmm. What if they had to relocate? What if that bomb that went off when the the two payloads? That yeah, exploded? when the shuttle exploded, just burned the whole planet to a crisp. It started like a huge ass forest fire that just continued. And AWOL gets destroyed. Well, I guess we'll find out then. December. Yeah. But on that note, shall James Cameron's we... gonna have to do a hell of a recap <laughs> of that movie like before, because if you oh if you think audiences are gonna go back and rewatch the first one before seeing this one, you're out of your fucking mind. So you know how yeah, like I think people will actually. Yeah, <laughs> now that it's readily available on Disney Plus. Yeah. yeah. So will. you know how like whenever like Avengers two or whatever would come out or like Cap two would come out, there would be like special screenings of like the first one, then the new movie. Yeah. Do you think that there are oh. gonna be like where it's gonna be like Avatar one and then Avatar two? That's like five hours. You best believe they're doing five and a half hours of just like straight theater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. have fun with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not doing Cause, it, but yeah. Because you just put it out there, and I guarantee you that uh, your theater's going to do that. I, I don't think so. I don't think that that yeah. would happen. But... Yeah, we're going to show Avatar in every theater. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about back-to-back, but I... <clears throat> I couldn't do it. Absolutely not. No, I couldn't do it either. I can watch eight hours of Stranger Things. I'm not watching six hours worth of Avatar. I'm just, I'm just thinking, like... If they want the the second one to be as big as it can be, that's going to take up too much time. So they probably, I take it back. I don't think they will do that. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot. That's going to for sure. The, no, they're making it available in like one theater. They might do it. Maybe they'll do it. I don't know why? Because they want to keep that top seed spot. So they'll well, release. They're, they're not. They're not the highest grossing. No, they are. The time. Overall, yeah, they are. Yeah. They are. yeah. yeah. They put it back in after Endgame came out. Oh, I didn't know that. They put it back in, I think it was in China, they put it back out and it went back up Hmm. to the number one spot. No, they want to keep that number one seed. And unfortunately, the Marvel movies couldn't break it and they're never going to, unfortunately. Because after Endgame, they're not going to. I mean, yeah. They're they're not going to do something that big. How are you putting Endgame out again? You don't. Well, ten years from now, they'll just put Endgame out again, and then it'll do the same thing. I mean, yeah, and nobody's gonna good. give a shit about Avatar by then, so Avatar's <laughs> not gonna be able to. Avatar's gonna shoot itself in the foot. No, there'll be Avatar fifteen <laughs> and Avatar sixteen, and no, I better be living on Pandora by that. <laughs> I'll kill myself. <laughs> the, 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 all they have to do is put out a Rise of Skywalker. Again and watch it tank. Oh, I hope there's a an extended cut. God, give me the Abrams cut. <laughs> what would you folks rate this movie out of ten? It's funny. I know this is coming every time, but I, I I was not thinking about it. I'll go first. Okay, I would rate it a seven and a half out of ten because I was I thoroughly enjoyed it the second time through. I, third time revisiting it after so many years uh and that was a surprise to me and yeah yeah, i i just um we didn't even mention it but the score was pretty good too score's not bad the late james horner yeah Hmm. the king of plagiarism (laughs) so we'll have to see i don't mean to take his name in vain he (laughs) did plagiarize he plagiarized a lot of his own music Yeah. yeah we'll we'll have to see uh who they get to uh tackle the score for the next one but yeah I, I really Hans enjoyed Zimmer. it. I, I that's literally literally. putting bats down. Yeah. Hans Zimmer. We'll we'll see if the uh, visual effects can impress us as much as they did 15 years ago. They won't. We'll see, won't we? You can literally buy discs and software to make better ones than what most studios put out. <laughs> there's like there's actually like <clears throat> do you guys know about this? There's like a software like thing called uh, 
big films, whatever, and it's literally drag and drop special effects hmm. that look like big budget movies. Yeah, like plugins. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like you can create like destroyed buildings in the background and shit that look real. Then you can do camera you... shake like Disney likes to do and everything. Did you ready yet? Seven. Okay. I uh, I'm I was pleasantly surprised, but I liked it the same yeah. time around. I I think we're all in the same boat of, of being surprised. Uh I'm gonna echo the seven. I don't think it was quite at the seven and a half. I did enjoy it though. Like seven's not bad. Don't take a seven as is being bad. As a collective, we rate it decent. Yeah. Yeah. So Simon Franklin is going to be the composer for the music of the of the next one. He composed the music of Skyfall and uh, the Magnificent Seven and the remake. Yeah, the remake. The I was gonna say not the. Ryan Googly thing. I guess I'm pretty sure Elmer Burns <laughs> the one who did the first Magnificent Seven. But yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Our review is about as long as the movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of upset that Hans Zimmer isn't doing the score. Uh, he does too much now, David. Or do you think his, that... His, his footprint is on a lot of shit that... Or do you think that James Cameron was like... The cat's one in. Do you think that James Cameron was like... Uh, they'll be expecting Hans Zimmer. Probably. He's yeah, like, maybe. No. Maybe. <laughs> But nevertheless, we have another recommendation coming to us for our next episode. By I'm so not ready. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna ride my coattails from was it last year or two years ago? Would, would you like me to get out my list? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need your list. <laughs> uh, it don't matter. I was gonna look to see if it was last year. We previously did the two Batman films we don't like as much. Let's do the two good ones. Oh, I love The Dark Knight Rises and Dark Knight. <laughs> no, the and, Tim, the, I'm sorry, and Batman Begins. No, the Tim Burton one. The Tim Burton one. All right. I just watched them recently. So, so did I. Around yeah. when the Batman came out. I, I, did I wasn't watch. paying that much attention. I just put them on in the background yeah, yeah. while I was drawing. But... Yeah, I put them on a couple times. But yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of thought of that the other, I think it was yesterday I saw a post. I, again, I can't remember if it was a year ago or two years ago. But uh, I think it was two years ago. That was pretty early, wasn't it? 2020. Pretty early, yeah. Started, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we never. Yeah, we started never... January 2020. First, uh, first episode. Yeah. And then two months later, we were like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Uh, yeah, so we never got around to it, so. Let's do it. Why not? All right. If you don't want to be spoiled for Tim Burton's Batman films, make sure to watch those before next episode because we will have a spoiler discussion. I cannot talk right now. Spoiler discussion <laughs> of them. Uh, next episode, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed our conversation about James Cameron's Avatar. I know that I at least enjoyed having it. Uh, Don't speak for us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.